Are we are we there? Yeah. Do you have our dolls? I, I don't have the the figures. Um, I don't think that they've actually been released. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. So uh, a few quick questions for you. If you if you if the Eternals had been able to fight Thanos on their own, do you think that they could have won? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I like that confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I am curious though, when you guys got involved and- Tina would have taken him on her own. Thank you. Right, uh, to be honest, after watching the movie, that could be true. <laughs> Thank you. I, I completely agree. When you guys were talking with Marvel and with Chloe about your character, uh, characters, did you guys ever get in this discussion of like, how powerful is each person? You know, how much, like, did you ever have that debate? You Angie know had about? lots of questions. <laughs> I had lots oh, of questions. she thrilled them. Because I had to fight, so I had to figure out all my, you know, it, even fighting Icarus and saying, so, but wait, if I do, if I, can I bounce, can I bounce his eyes back at him with my shield? Can I do, you know, you have lots of questions. Because I, th listen, so, so in the, in the comics, and if you look us up, all of us have every power or something like that. It's some extraordinary thing, it would, so, which is no movie, right? It's very, I think it's one of the very smart things that they did was they said, these people can't, these characters won't be able to challenge each other or this movie will be over in a minute if everybody can do everything and everybody's supremely powerful. So we kind of divided um, the, the skills a little more than what was in the past. And so we, you know, I can't fly. He can't have weapons. This person can't do this. And then that, um, that was a very smart, it, it had to be that way. And, and we were divided out. into groups. Okay. Ones that were more physically, you know, they had super powers that were more physically that were for battle and some that were more intellectual powers, you know, like transformation mm -hmm. or me healing that were not so much for typical for war which, but they were used to win everything, you know? Mm. So that, I think that was really interesting. I, I gotta say, I was kind of disappointed because <laughs> I didn't, I, I can fly in the comic, but you will see, I can kind of glide. I'd like you to fly. If glide, another but one. Not, yes, not, you should glide. Not, She'd yeah. be great at gliding. Yeah, and if she could fly, then for sure she would get. I would have taken Icarus now. Yeah. Um, which of your friends and family were the most excited that you were joining the MCU? My husband. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Shamelessly. <laughs> he is so excited. And he didn't come to the premiere, but he's going to see oh, it. Oh, he's going to see it in London, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think my kids were both excited. And then, you know, when you love these type of movies, but then suddenly mom, right? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's kind of bit, many of you blows the blows the doors open on your your fantasy when it's your mother, who's suddenly like the. But but my kids do they. I'm very fortunate that I'm very close to my kids, so they were very they were very supportive of me as Thena. I think it was more like they were helping me than just fans. They're like, you can do this, and they were so proud. I saw them at the premiere. We were coming one by one, and I'm trying to say hello, but they're ignoring me because they're waiting for their mommy to come out. <laughs> and I, I will never forget this. It's one of the most memorable moments <laughs> of the when she came out. The way their faces lit. Oh, oh it was really beautiful. Yeah. Just a lot about you. Yeah. Uh, okay, my last. Sorry, we're talking. Oh, more. sorry. This is my last. My last question for you guys. I love learning the behind the scenes of the making of movies and shows. What do you think uh, fans would be surprised to learn about the actual making of Eternals? Well, it was an interesting combination of using all the technology, uh, but also making it really grounded and old style filmmaking. Yeah. Probably and like the depth of the the actual work that you would. The, the fun part you'd, you'd imagine, the, the kind of magic of the, the weapons, the swords, the, the fights, the flying, that stuff I think you know. But for this one, I think it was more really heavy talks about life and earth and humanity and sexuality and spirituality and things like that, I think. And that was, that was surprising. And we liked each other. We had fun. We had parties, like Halloween parties and silly things. We, we, we became a family. We still, we still do. <laughs> um, on that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say thank you for your time. I hope the film is a huge hit. Uh, have a great day. Thank, thank you. you.